Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Wednesday, the 10th. Is it the 10th? I think it's the 10th. Although to you guys, it's either going to be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Because um, obviously I'm recording this now, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, um, been a bit busy. Um, got a also there. There's an issue with that parcel, which I'll come to in a bit. Um, I think the postman's been a bit, not the postman, well, he is a postman, isn't it? The DHL delivery driver has either been clumsy with it or has been nosy. And I'll show you that in a bit. Um, anyway, um, yeah, uh, I, I want to show you what my, obviously in the last video uh, I did, I, I was dog sitting and they've been back since and picked the dog up and uh, this is what the if I can flip this around I'll show you brought me back from the holiday and as you can see we've got Sonic who merges into Mario and as we come around he merges from Mario in to press bandicoot uh, i think that's amazing obviously it's lenticular um i don't know if i'm keeping it there yet i'll put it there for now because i do like it there but yeah i love the way it changes let me move around anyway other changes um if you saw my last video i had those three um, glass cabinets all in a line across there. Um, pulled that one out, put another towel unit up for games. Uh, um, anyway, let's switch it back around, get that mounted. And there is what I want to do. I want to open this I want to show you I want to show you something first ah right this was delivered by DHL right there's a knock at the door my door is just around Go through there. That passes way there. And you get to my front door. Uh, as soon as I knocked, I got up. So I was expecting a parcel. Uh, by the time I opened the door, this was sat on the doorstep and the guy was sat in his van with his windows up and I thought there you have so they left it on my doorstep and gone anyway when I picked it up from the doorstep I then noticed ah, nah that is a big hole. Um, I was trying to work out as well if the tape had run all the way down because that looks like to me because it's got indentations there that looks like to me that somebody's made a hole to try and see what was inside it but this plastic so I took a photo and I sent it to the uh, the person that sold it to me. Uh, I was polite. Didn't want to. They're not going to send it out like that. I know that. Um, so I was just in, uh, wondering if you know, just uh, hoping you can confirm that this is not how it was sent out. It was delivered by. DHL and I told him that the guy had 
it must have ran to his van. Um, uh, yeah, they confirmed they would never have sent Sarah. I knew this. I, I knew they would never said they'd never have done that. I wouldn't. Nobody would. So it looks to me like somebody's I'm not accusing anybody, but it looks to me like somebody wanted to look inside, see what was in there. Um, you can't do that throwing it around. It don't weigh a lot. You know, weighs hardly anything really. But anyway, we're going to open it up and I'll show you what it is. But yeah, um, but the guy who posted it to me, obviously I've sent him a photo. He did say he's going to get on to DHL because he uses them all the time. Um, so, and they, I know for a fact that couriers keep a track of their, uh, well, companies keep a track of their couriers. He, they all know exactly who delivered this. So he's going to, he says, because I said to him, I'm not happy. Um, if he could have seen what was inside it, would it have been stolen? Would it have been damaged out of spite? Um, he's asked me if it's damaged. I says, well, obviously I haven't opened it yet. But there is padding in there, so I can't see it being damaged. Um, but I did say to him, once I open it up, um, I will send him a photo explaining it's all okay and he'll get full positive feedback. Um, which I will do once I've opened it. Um, so yeah, uh, he's gonna, he says he's going to get in touch with DHL. He's got the photos, um, he's going to send the photos to DHL. It's up to him, I mean, to be fair, I, I don't know, I mean, everybody's got their preference. Let me just tilt this over so I can show you uh, this being opened up. Um, let's drop that down a bit. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I say, we really trust. All right, so yeah, he's got bubble wrap. Which, yes. Yeah, it, this is what I could see through that hole, and it's those I call them pillows. Um, yeah. So, and what we have, guys, we have we have Mortal Combat Collector's Edition sealed. But I'm going to open it because I want to see what's inside it. So. All I'll do is I've just this down a little I could do it with a better uh, easel for a friend to drop that down a little Right, so we'll open this. Okay, so that'll do. I want to destroy the box. This, to be fair, is getting getting quite rare. It's rare. Um, I wanted it mainly on the Xbox 360. Um, but I knew it was also available on PS3. And it's rare on both systems. Um, whether it's PS3 or Xbox, either one of them, it's getting rare. And I didn't want to leave it too long before the price went up. What I like to do with these is pull them from that way, you don't crease 
any of the engine. So what have we got in here? We have All right, first thing. Well that's a nice art book. Alright, we've got an art book. And I do like I said, I've said it in other videos. I do sit and read through these art books. I mean there's plenty of writing. This is gonna be interesting I think. There's loads of writing in this one. Uh, when you get to you pictures okay. anyway quick flip through uh, so. yeah so that would be uh, in, an interesting read nice solid hard back yeah happy with that then we have, we have the game, obviously only sealed. I'm not going to open that because I've already got it on the shelf. I've got the, the actual game. I just didn't have this clips, I did just didn't have the clips as item. So that's going to stay sealed because uh, I don't need to open that. And then, pick that up. That just stacks as a carrier for the game and the book. And then, oh, there's a yeah, a couple of DLCs. Probably not going to work now. Um, it's an old game. Been out since 2000. Uh, well, the console came out in 2007, I think. That's Anyway, we get to the bad boy. Yes. So we we'll move that. And take him out of there. Check that guys. That is nice. Yes. This guy's sword. Nice. Look at that. A sword going straight through him and the blood coming out. The quality is nice. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, this is probably gonna probably gonna go into my um, cabinet. So yeah, that is um, my Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition. It's getting quite rare now, guys. So uh, I, I knew it was getting rare because I've been watching what not watching a few of them for quite a quite a long time, and the price is going up and up and up. So if you find one now. Um, obviously that was sealed, um, it was the only one I could find and that was uh, 80 quid, 79 pound, um, but yeah, the, I, I didn't want to leave it so long that uh, I was going to end up paying over 100 pound plus, I, I didn't want to do that. So when that one came up, 79 quid for grab it now because otherwise it's just gonna um, just it's just gonna go on and on and on prolonging it. So yeah, um, I'm glad I got that. Um and that's about it really. I'll just keep this try and keep this quite short if I can. I don't wanna keep banging on, but yeah, the guy's gonna get in touch with DHL, he says. He's going to do that for me then because he uses them all the time. Because um, I've said to him that I have, because when you buy on eBay, you can um, you, you can follow that seller uh, in, in case he's got a hotel suit, you know, um, and you can keep him 
in your search engine. And I said to him, I don't want to get to the point where if I buy somewhere else, you're sending it through DHL. So I've never had that before. I've never had where... I've had where you know that the box has been dropped. I've had that, and you can tell. You can tell it's been dropped. That, that's not been dropped. That's been that's been ploughed open so people can look inside. In my, in my opinion, yeah, that has definitely been gouged open. I mean, it's a good, strong box, solid box. And like I say, when I sent the guy the photos, told him about it. Um, he says he said the same. He says yeah. He says that's uh, it's not been dropped. That that wouldn't that wouldn't that wouldn't happen if you dropped it. Um, you get corner damage or something with the corners crumpled. But yeah. Um, and that's it for that one, guys. Um, um, the reason I did point out to him as well, because he uses DHL all the time, he has got another um, collector's edition that I'm interested in. And I'm trying to do a deal with him at the moment. Um, uh, and I have sent him a cheeky little message saying, because I bought from you and I've got you my saved engine, you know, there's a chance of a discount. You know, always ask for a discount, why not? So anyway, um, just waiting for him to get back on me with that one. Like I say, it's Wednesday now. You're probably not going to see this video till Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So hopefully by the time you see this, we've done a deal and I've got this collector's edition that I, I need. One need, I do need, I collect them, I love them. Um, I love reading the art books. I love having them on display. Um, yeah, so if I can do a deal with him over the next few days, I'll be pointing a video out next week. It'll be after, if, if I'm pointing this one out weekend, this weekend coming, the video that I do next will be next week after Monday. So I don't know, even so that guy, so I can have a because uh, I want to sit and read this book. I love reading these art books. So. It's a shame they weren't um, an audio CD. Um, I'd have loved, I'd, so what I do with a lot of, it's like um, the one I've got, oh, that one there, that Bioshock 2, that is absolutely amazing, guys. There's a 12 inch vinyl LP in there. And what I did with that, you get a massive art book. And what I did with that, I was playing the LP and I was re sat reading the art book. It was the best hour, hour and a half, you know, and I'm due to do it again because that was what, I did that about two, three years ago. So one night, I'm going to pull it down, put the record on and go through the art book. It's amazing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, like I say, uh, the next one will be next week, Monday, Monday or whatever. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Uh, Catch you later. Bye for now.